Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing kind of like a tutorial just to achieve the look that you see here. Disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing. This is just what I do to my face every day. Um, so, if you want to see how a beginner does their makeup, keep watching and see how I achieve this look. Thanks. Before when I filmed these, I had my makeup laid out. I'm not that prepared this time, but I need to do my face because I need to go shopping and get our burgers for tonight and get a bunch of fun stuff for our American Horror Story. Alright, so, you know what? We're just going to start with my primer. This is a Bare Minerals primer. I kind of switched in between Bare Minerals and Too Faced for my primers. I'm just going to apply a pea-sized amount to the back of my hand and then apply it onto my face. What this does is it's supposed to, you know, uh, make your makeup pop a little bit better. So once that's all rubbed in, you want to let it set for like just maybe 30 seconds or so just so that it gets to the consistency that you want it to be. You want it to kind of just sit into your face and your pores and kind of just make your face all one texture, I guess you would say. I mean, obviously not one texture, I have breakouts and stuff like that, but anyway. So next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with um, foundation. I use this Eco Tools flat brush. As you can see, it's kind of dirty. I am so sorry. Mm. I should have cleaned my brush before this. Anyway, this is a brush that I use every single day. And <clears throat> I'm going to be using my CoverGirl. This is the Clean Oil Control CoverGirl Foundation. And it's in the shade 505 Ivory. Um, I think this is the lightest shade they carry. Probably. So... I hate that this doesn't have a pump on it. I kind of have to go like barbarian on it and just kind of get it on the back of my hand. Then just go in with my brush, get it off the back of my hand, and start applying it. So I never use an eyelid primer, so I kind of just use my, my foundation to get in there. And um, let me move my hair. So I know this looks like crazy pale. I know that. But when it dries, it actually dries down a little darker. I kind of feel like hilarious because like right now I am... I'm using my front window for my lighting. Isn't it gorgeous? And um, my neighbors just walk by and I'm just like, la 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 la. Cause like I have my blinds open. It's just, they can see everything I'm doing. I guess it's like, I don't mind posting videos because you know, like that's fine. But for some reason, people walking by when I'm filming, I'm kind of like, mm, awkward. So now that it's all over my face and I've blended it in pretty well, I'm just going to blend it down my neck so that it doesn't look cray cray. I think I'm actually going to, I'm just going to bun this up in the back. Make sure this is all the way that I want it to be. Okay. So as you can see, it's kind of drying in some places and it's starting to just blend into my paleness. All right. So I do like to set my face. I actually set my face with, um, if I can find it. Well, I have two powders that I normally, oh, it's right here. I either use the Rimmel Stay Matte. Or I go in with the Maybelline Fit Me. They're, um, the only difference is the Rimmel I purchased in, it's supposed to be transparent, so it's just supposed to be a setting powder. 
and the Fit Me, the Maybelline Fit Me, I bought in the shade Ivory. And, um, kinda, I'm just gonna set my under eyes with the Ivory one. And like a barbarian, I'm just using my fingers. Okay. Just to set my under eyes. And then I'll go in with the... I'm going to use my same foundation brush and go in with the Rimmel translucent powder just to set everything that I just did. When the temple slows up and creates the like super pale, it's time to add a little bit of color to my face. And um, I guess I guess we'll just we'll attempt to do some contouring. I paused for a brief second and like got my shit together. So hopefully this will run a little smoother. I I have like this holy grail palette that I use. Um, I absolutely just adore this palette. I use it for my brows, I use it for my eyeshadow, I use it for my contour. I use this palette for everything. And it is the Nubian Palette by Juvia's Place. Now recently I've seen some really bad reviews about Juvia's Place as a company. Their products are amazing, but apparently like, their company has really bad customer service and stuff like that. I didn't experience any of that. Um, I didn't have any problems, so I didn't have to contact customer service. But um, what drew me to Juvia's Place was first because it's the Nubian palette. And look at these nudes. These are some gorgeous nudes. And I love a nude palette. Anyway, let's just dig in to this gorgeous palette. Now, for my contour, I'm actually going to go in with this shade. Excuse my nails, y'all. They are a mess. I'm going to go in with this shade heat. Nope, I'm not. This shade here. And like, yeah, that's a really light shade. But for me, not so much. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this. Um, I don't know what brush this is for. I don't really know what many brushes are for. I just use them for what works for me. This isn't even a name brand brush. I bought it for a dollar off of the Wish app. Anyway, so I'm just going in with that light color. I'm going to tap off the excess and then just kind of come in kind of get a little bit up here and then try and contour just a little bit down here and then just in circular motions I'm going to just blend this up into my hairline He's all alone through the day and night The lonely lone receives to free his mind and night ah, ah, and night Day and night The lonely stone receives to free his mind and night He's all alone, some things will never change And then I'm gonna go back in with my foundation brush So I'm just gonna go back in with my foundation brush and my setting powder and just Set that to where it needs to be and also blend some more. It seems a feeling that she had it through, through. Cause day and night, the lonely stone is. So now I guess we can dip into some brows. So keeping with my Nubian palette, I'm gonna go in with this really dark shade and like. I get kind of some backlash. People are like, why are your eyebrows so dark? These are my eyebrows with nothing on them. Nothing. There's no... I haven't even brushed these. I just woke up and these are my eyebrows. Look like, And they're really dark. Now, if you know me, this red is dye. And this color here is my natural. It has darkened over time. But when I was younger, I had really blonde hair and really dark eyebrows. So... I had to make the decision, do I keep with dark eyebrows and dark hair, or do I lighten my eyebrows? And I tried lightening my eyebrows a few times and it just looked a hot mess. So what I'm going to do is, my eyebrows, in my opinion, already have a good shape. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line them up and blend it out and just make it look a little more 
fancy, I guess. I don't know. So. To free his mind in search of day and night. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind and night. So, I kind of went way too big on this one, but that's fine because we're going to fix it in a second. So, let me just go in with the other one and then hopefully not dry, draw it huge. Okay. Free his mind and night. He's all alone through the day and night. The lonely lonely. That one's not as bad. But this one. It is way too thick right here. I kind of feel like it would look better kind of like that. So, no big deal. What I'm going to go do is I'm going to grab my concealer and we're going to go in and fix that up. So, one second. So, I use a NARS concealer in the shade Vanilla. I think that's probably the lightest they go. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush there. And then I'm just going to kind of dot where I want to remove. So. So I've done it on there as you can see. And then I'm going to go in with this e.l.f. Kind of, I'm not sure, it's probably for concealer. And then I'm just going to blend it into my forehead. So that's a little better, not as thick. Um, so one thing to know about eyebrows are, this is probably the best quote that like my sister-in-law has ever given me. Eyebrows are sisters and not twins. So it's okay if they don't look the exact same because they're not supposed to and that's okay. So now that that's taken care of, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna go in and do my eye makeup with of course my Nubian palette. So what I start off with is this Eco Tools brush. It's kind of like a, I'm, this is a smudging brush. I don't ever use it. Um, and then this is supposed to be like a fluffy brush, but it's not that fluffy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this gold color here and apply it all over my lid. He's all alone through the day and night. The lonely loner seems to free his mind and night. So once that is all over my lid, I'm going to go in with this. This is the Sedona Lace EB13 brush. This is the blending brush that I use every day. I think I received it in like my Ipsy bag or something like that. And I'm going to go in with this darker shade over here. I just put it in the wrong one. So apparently, I'm going to go in with this shade here. This one, this middle ready-ish one. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply that to my creases. So just in there really lightly on both sides. Because eyeshadow is like math and what you do to one side you should do to the other. The more you know. So I just want to lightly put that in my creases. Almost like a cut crease but not really because I... I'm not that fancy. So once you have a little bit of dimension to your eyes, now I'm gonna go in, let me brush off my brush. Now I'm gonna go in with this darker color over here. Tap off my excess and I'm just gonna apply it right here to the edge of my eye and then sweep it. Going one last tap and just tap, tap. All right, and then I use a beauty for real, just a regular black pencil, and um, it's one of the little twisty ones. So I just go in and line my waterline with this. Okay, so I just line my waterline with it, and then I'm going to go in and do my top. I use a liquid liner for my top lid, and I use the Revlon Stay Skinny in the shade Blackout. 
So I use black eyeliner. I I have a certain feeling about liners and just eye color in general. Like if I do a nude up top, I feel okay doing a bolder lip. But I feel if I do a bold eye, then I should do a nude lip just to keep it balanced, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't want to look too naka um, or like too crazy. So I'm just going to line my lids with the liner. Okay, so now that those are lined, um, I don't normally do a winged liner because I'm horrible at it. I actually want to buy one of those stencils or something like that because I am atrocious at winged liners. So I'm not even going to attempt it today. But I am going to go, and for my lashes, one tip I have for lashes is, like, I always use two different mascaras. So first, I'm going to go in with the Icona Milano. This is a waterproof um, mascara, and the applicator brush is really small. You see that? It's really small, so you can really get in there. The lonely loner seems to bring his mind and mind The applicator brush is so small it's easier to do your bottom lashes okay so that would be my first one and while this is kind of just dying down once this dries a little bit I'm gonna go in with this one this is the tardiest lash paint I received this in one of my boxes it's probably Ipsy and um, this applicator brush is a lot bigger you see that it is a lot bigger so when you go in this is going to give you some more definition and volume because he's on the moon can't seem to shake the shade Within his dreams, he sees the life he made, made, the pain is deep. I touched my face with it. <laughs> okay. So, that's pretty much all I do for my eyes. But, I touched my face right here with this mascara. So, um, what I'm going to do is... Sometimes I save this step for last and sometimes I do it in the beginning. I'm glad I saved it for last this time is I'm going to go in with my concealer and I'm going to touch up this, any fallout that got in here, any fallout that got down here because sometimes when you don't tap off the brush enough, you get fallout of eyeshadow onto your cheeks. If that happens to you a lot, save your concealer step for last. Like normal people do it right after they do their foundation, save it for last. So. I'm going in with my NARS concealer and just touching anywhere that fallout could have gone. I'm just... This is also going to give you a nice little just glow underneath your eyes. And then I'm going to go in with my flat top foundation brush and just blend it all out. The lonely loner seems to free his mind and mind, eh, eh, and mind, day and night. Get this brush into my like the corners of my eye so I'm gonna go with my um, concealer elf brush and just make sure that it's blended and looks normal all right and then I guess just to finish off this look I'm just gonna put on a lip um, I don't I'm not a professional this is just something this is just how I do my makeup like every day so you know obviously there's just a small contour I didn't contour my nose my nose is just my nose whatever I'm going to go in with the dirty little secret liquid matte liner liner liquid to matte lippy in the shade crimson I'm just gonna put that on my lips so let me pull my make my my mirror out here 
If your lips tend to bleed, like not your lips bleeding, but if your lipstick tends to bleed down your face, like mine does, if you put on a liner before you put your lipstick on, it can help a lot. I don't have a red liner though. I guess I could use it. I have nude liners. I don't know why. So basically, this is what I look like every single day. This is what I go out into the world like. Just put my hair down. And there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.